Hello, it's an ancient ninja man, and I've got this set of uh, Zvezda uh, 172 scale war elephants. Uh, I've done so many um, 28 millimeter, 1 to 56 scale figures over the last few years. I thought it might be fun to just do a few different scales, and these guys have been hanging out at my local hobby store for I reckon two years, and no one's bought them, so they've got a few in this range. All look quite good, uh, and I just thought time to actually get some fairly cheap it's only 26 Australian dollars for two war elephants and they come with the crew so six figures as well so let's do a box unboxing have a look and then I'll put them together and I'll give you my impressions of these little guys so, what have we got in here Two sprues and some instructions. I think it might be a Russian company, judging by the flag. Might be a little bit politically incorrect at the moment, but anyhow. So some nice instructions, how to put them all together. Yeah, that's good to have. Uh, let's have a look. So two sprues. First impressions for such a small scale, they're quite nicely cast. There doesn't seem to be much um, needing cleaning. And they're actually fairly hard plastic. I've had a look at the hat ones, thought about getting some of them, but they're the really soft plastic, which I really don't like, and they don't cast very well. These are really crisp. In fact, if you look at the, um, the shields on the howders, they're remarkably um, finely detailed. So that's pretty impressive, actually. The infantry guys look quite nicely done too. Impressive at such a tiny scale that you can get that sort of detail into them. So that one looks good and the two elephants are quite different. See, and again, look at the howders there with the uh, Seleucid um, anchor style logo on that. That looks great. I'm impressed. And you see the dragon printed on the um, blanket for the elephant there. That's really good. There was one in um, 56 scale, you'd be impressed, but one at 72 scale, it's amazing. So yeah, I am surprised and quite happy with these so far. I'm gonna take them apart, put them together and show you what they look like then. Here they are finished and I absolutely love these little elephants they're fantastic they are beautifully sculpted and um, are nicely cast in many ways I think they're actually better than any of the one in um, 56 scale elephants that I've got and I've got a fair few I've got Aventine and I've got War Games um, Warlord Games and I've got Ajima and I've got Victrix ones and these are superior I reckon just nicer detail, better done. Um, the infantry guys not quite so good because the plastic's just a little bit softer, and so they have seam lines that are kind of hard to get off, and uh, end up, you know, a little bit um, uh, messed up, a bit damaged by trying to clean them. But uh, they're so tiny anyway, you know, they're sort of it's almost like for dioramas. You're not going to be looking at them closely enough to notice the very minor flaws. So great poses and. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're meant to be three in this outer, but I just couldn't fit them all in, so I've made that one guy separate. World Cup, did anyone see Australia versus France this morning? Fantastic game up till about 10 minutes in when Australia winning 1-0. The less said about from there, the better. <laughs> Mbappe and those boys are just uh, way too good for Australia, sadly, but uh, to be expected, really. But um, enjoying that. And I'm not doing this. Here's the other one. So two very nice elephants. The cloth is fantastic with a dragon on it. And I've done this a little bit different colour scheme, different style. But um, similarly excellent quality, I reckon. So these are a big winner. If you're looking for something a bit different, if you normally do the same as me, one in 56 uh, scale, then this 172. These big elephants are worth a go, I reckon. It probably helps your painting skills just to be forced to put the paint extremely accurately on 
certain areas. In some ways, a bit of, it's a simpler painting process than the bigger figures, just because you know you don't really have that option of doing the finer shading and highlighting and so on. I used a bit of speed paints, did my usual black base coat, and then a white zenithal kind of dry brush, and then uh, either speed paint or light um, watered down coats over that. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy and really impressed with these beautiful little figures. Just to get an idea of how much smaller they are, I'll put up say, an infantry guy. So when you painted a few of these guys and you come to some of the normal, well, the 28 millimeter, they just feel like giants. They seem so, so much easier to paint. So I think it does help with your skills on the painting of the bigger figures, or at least it does make give you the illusion that they're a bit easier than you used to think they were. There's another one, uh, 28 millimeter giant there. So yeah, Zvezda. I'm pleasantly surprised and impressed. I had a lot of fun painting these. I'm not sure I'll go out and get a whole lot more, but because um, well, I've got pretty invested in the one in 20, uh, 28 millimeter scale. But uh, yeah, I'm totally happy with them. And if you're wanting a diorama or you were new into the hobby and didn't want to spend a lot of money you know these are quite good value for your hard-earned cash so there we are so there's that thumbs up